Hey guys, Scott here with your reviews. Today I install my Gator EFX on my Toyota Tundra TRD Sport 2018 with a drop in bed liner. This time on your reviews, I'll show you how to install it and then give you my quick thoughts on it. Alright, guys, so we have pretty much all of our stuff laid out here. We have both of our bed rails, and uh, as you can see, where you're supposed to put the clamps, you're gonna have these plastic pieces and it is just plastic but it's going to sit it's going to sit like this on the bed all right so you get to see it has this clamp there's a clamp thing clamp thing and then also just make sure that the drain tube line is toward the front of the bed all right guys so for some reason the instructions actually don't specifically mention this, this strip right here but i know because i've watched online videos this is going to go on the front of the bed cap here so i'm just going to like i said i already cleaned it so now i will apply this this seal to the front so that water doesn't intrude the bed at the front bed rail so let's just make sure that this is long enough definitely long enough no problem there as close or as far away from the cab as possible because that front seal of the cover is going to basically come over this entire thing so I just want to have the seal right on this edge. Go ahead and stick it on. Hopefully this lasts a long time. I did clean this so hopefully this is nice and dry, good to go. That is the front seal, nice and stuck on there. Hopefully that'll last a good long time. Now we'll go ahead and install the bed rails. All right guys, so we'll go ahead and install the, the bed rails next. So uh, again, I do have a plastic toss-in bed liner. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put in this center bed rail, or the center bed clamp first. And I think we're supposed to, and again, the instructions really aren't that great. And that's going to basically clamp it on to begin with. So. Let's go ahead and put this on. All right, we need a half inch. Okay, well that's pretty much on there. So go ahead and put the other clamps on next. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to actually use this clamp torch spreader or whatever you wanna call it. Um, might, might actually be it for this one. We can try it. If I can put that tube on. All right, let's do the last clamp on the back of this side. Yeah, unscrew it pretty much completely here. All right. All right guys, so this side uh, bed rail is on. It's solid, uh, no worries. So I ended up, um, as you can see the installation here, I ended up using uh, the bottom little notch here uh, for the Tundra. So, just be aware of that. All right guys, so update on my uh, installation here. I got the bed frame or the bed rails installed, um, but I was going to route the, the tubing just into these holes that uh, are already here uh, for my bed liner and not worry about it. But uh, yeah, that's not gonna work because the drain holes are in the front of the bed here and they are, they're not they're still in place, basically. The little rubber grommets are still in place. So basically I have to take the bed rails off and I have to basically kind of almost take out my bed liner almost so I can actually pop those caps out. So anyway, I gotta take all my rails off and then redo everything. So that's, that's that. Quick tip about what I'm doing. Um, these are the little uh, bed, the bed drainage caps in the back of the Tundra. So these little tiny holes that are in there currently. Uh, what I'm basically doing is I am drilling out a bigger hole uh, so that this drain hose doesn't come out. So again, basically this goes back into the truck and this is the drain tube for the tonneau cover. Um, so the water will come in here through the, the rails and then go right out. Uh, and again, this isn't going anywhere. This isn't going to fall out. If I just stuck the tubes down in there, I could get some serious rust in the bottom of my, uh, my bed. But anyway, so this will hopefully help prevent that. So um, I just wanted to let you know, uh, right now I'm just using a half inch wood bit and I'm basically just uh, drilling out, drilling out the hole like that. 
So anyway, I just wanted to show you that as well. Just a slight little modification that I needed to do. Uh, and I'll also need to drill a hole actually in my, my drop-in bed liner as well. What I went ahead and did was drill these little holes in the bottom of the caps. Again, because I have a drop-in bed liner, as you can see. Caps are down in the corner here, and then another one. There are a total of four of them. I took the ones that are furthest out to the side of the bed. Uh, so basically what I'm going to have to do is uh, pop these guys back in. I'm going to have to drill a hole through the bed liner, which again, it's just plastic, no big deal. But then, uh, and then I'm going to put the end of these hoses through that, so that way it drains completely out of my bed. I don't want to just stick the hose in these holes because the water is just going to sit in the bed and that's going to rust my bed, so I really don't want that. So anyway, it's going to be kind of similar to this. This setup, right, so it's going to come out of the bed cap, uh, out of the, the rails, and then it's going to go through the plastic bed liner here and then go straight out. So we're going to go ahead and uh, line up the holes, drill the holes in here, and we'll come back to you. All I basically did was I drilled a really, really tiny little hole with this little drill bit here. Uh, I stuck my paper clip uh, through the hole and then it uh, pretty much lined up exactly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, a half inch, a uh, half inch uh, drill right here and then I'm going to drill out that hole so we can stick uh, so we can stick the hose through. We have all the bed rails mounted, as you can see. So we got the bed rails mounted here, uh, and then again we have our the drain tube going out, and then, I don't know if you can see it. See that tube coming out of there? There we go. So yeah, you can see it's coming out of there, going through the bed liner. Same thing over here. Uh, we have it going out through uh, behind the bed rail there, the bed cap. So that's good guys. All right, so those are the rails, there's the drains. So now we're actually gonna go take the Tata cover and put it on. All right guys, so last step in the process to actually put the cover in. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. We have these four clamps uh, that we're gonna use to secure it. Um, but I'll go ahead and hop in the truck and we'll go ahead and uh, dry, dry fit it. So the last step in the puzzle is attaching, attaching these little brackets and up here you can see there are four metal right here and right there and then also on the other side. So basically you're going to just slide the top of this into these metal things and then just clamp it. Once you're satisfied with the position, you really don't want to bump this at all because you want it to just stay right where it is. Next one. In there. All right, so here it is all installed. I went ahead and cleaned it as well. Uh, I just want to give you a real, real actual review of this thing. So as you can see, right, this, uh, it doesn't quite fit perfectly flush. I mean, this corner is a little bit rough. Um, and again, I just put this thing on. So hopefully these little these little rubber bits that are kind of a little janky right now they'll look better over time. I'm thinking again because it's been folded for so long it kind of looks like that. But mine doesn't exactly fit perfectly flush. I don't know if it's supposed to. And then right at the bed cap here, at the front of the bed, just kind of you know. Again, I'm just I'm just showing you exactly what what I see on my side. And then this there is a little bit of a lip here. If someone really wanted to put a crowbar in there and lift this up, obviously, I'm sure they could, but there's no way to open this without uh, opening the tailgate, without totally destroying the thing. So anyway, um, so yeah, but it's really easy operation. Uh, you've seen this before, I'm sure. You pull this little guy and you can fold it. It's pretty one-handed. I mean, it's pretty lightweight too, so. Um, so yeah, you can fold that like that. And then if you want to drive with it, you've got these little clips here. There's one on each side, so there's one here and then one down there. So you can fold, you can drive with it uh, two-thirds open. 
Uh, the fancier version, you can uh, fold it up. But honestly, if, I'm, if I know I'm gonna haul something big, I'll just take the thing out because I, I don't wanna not see out of the back of my truck. So I'll probably just, like I said, take it out. So how it secures, knobs over there, that secures the front on. And then also, as I showed in the video, uh, I installed these tubes that go from the bed rails through the drop-in bed liner and then uh, through the front of the bed there. So that's how, that's how we drain it. But uh, anyway, I really like it for the price. It's great, it's on sale right now. I'm pretty sure uh, at, um, at uh, realtruck.com, that's where I got it from. But uh, overall, I really like the cover and uh, we will catch you guys later. Stay tuned, please give this video a big like and a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, take care guys. Sounds good. Love you. Have a good day, folks.